Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me and I apologise for the cliffhanger <laughs> on the last video. As you can see behind me, my new project and my dream and another passion to add to my collection. What you will see there in front of you is a 1975 Volkswagen Type 2 Bay high top camper van. Before I go into any details Let's have a look around just to see what exactly I've got myself into.
And there you have it. That's the walk around the outside, the engine bay, the interior, and underneath. As much as I could without a ramp and things like that. So, very, very exciting. As I mentioned, I've been looking for a number of years for the right one for me. And the history that comes with this one, um, the story that comes with it, the things that come with it, what it is, the price, it all was perfect for me. Um, on the price, um, I'll not be disclosing that, I never talk about prices and um, I'll, I'll not reply to anyone asking how much I paid because it's, it's a personal thing. So, the van, what is the van? It's a 1975 Type 2 camper van and it's the high top so it has the fiberglass roof which means you've got a lot more room. You know, it's not got the roof and the pop top. And um, my knowledge on camper vans, um, beginner knowledge, half of the fun with this is to learn as I do with the minis, as I go, do as much as I can myself and basically have a running project. You know, I'm, I'm, I love classic cars and to get, for me to get rid of my Morris Minor, as I showed in the previous episode for this, it shows how special these are to me to get rid of my Morris Minor. The kids, this is my son here, um, and my other kids absolutely love it, and that's why I bought it, to basically enjoy, make memories, have fun, and yeah, life's too short at the end of the day, so that's why I, I got, I keep saying it, we decided on a name, we've named her Poppy, because when she's cold and she starts, there's a pop. So, they say when you drive a car or a van, you know um, you know what's, what the name is, she'll tell yourself. So, originally, in 1975, this was a panel van. And it had a professional conversion in 1977. I don't believe, from, from what I'm told, I can't find out, from a her heritage certificate, that the original colour was blue and white. I was told it was brown, so I'm glad it was changed to blue. The previous owner has owned it since 1993, um, and in that time he's had a lot of love and hard work went into her. Um, basically selling due to health reasons, can no longer enjoy and wants it to go to someone that can carry on and make the memories. Um, really, really nice couple. Um, and I did feel for them selling it. It was quite um, sad, wasn't it? Yeah. The, the wife, I think, was quite glad to see, <laughs> to see it go. But um, but um, the man, you could tell it's it's been part of the family for a number of years. So yeah, quite sad. But it's gone somewhere that I'm going to keep the keep the restoration and keep the memories going. So. Being 40 years old, the camper van is MOT and tax exempt, however for the last 10 years it's had an MOT and it expires this year in August. So it gives good peace of mind, but it also gives an indication of some of the areas that need attention. Um, so I was quite pleased with that as well. There was a few things done um, to the van before it came to me. The previous keeper wanted to make sure that it was just good to drive. So it had a full new clutch cable kit, uh, clutch release spring, the brakes were all tightened up and adjusted, it was given new points, condenser, just serviceable things and to make sure that um, she drove well and she did, she really did. And I've got all the paperwork, documentation that comes from all the repairs, MOTs, things like that. That'll go on a file, I'll keep that as part of the van's history and I'll build it as, um, as I repair and do things over the years. I thought I would show you some of the history that I bought with this. So I've had a plaque made up with various different um, events from various different times. So for example, Schoon Palace, um, Gifford Town, 2002, 2003, the, the late 90s, so all of this adds to the charm and appeal of the, the camper. I've also got a photo album made up of various shows that um, she's been to previously and where she's broken down, there's been damage to the pistons. 
hand sketches and I'll take you around the front of the van and show you what else is unique to this bit of history behind the floor so Nairns of Kirkcaldy floor making company um, quite a history behind them going back um, quite a number of years I'm told that when a new equipment was made for flooring that the person that made it got to experiment on some floors and they used that to practice on and make floors for two Volkswagens, his own and this one and I'll show you what comes with this under the rubber mat So this, I'm told, is about this thick flooring that goes all the way down. This could be sanded off and it wouldn't lose any of this. It's not on the surface, it's etched deep. And that, again, adds to the uniqueness of the camper, adds to the history, and um, it just gives it that extra thing I was looking for. There's been a few things that have been added on to help with the running with it. It's had twin carbs put in. It's had an electric fuel pump put in. I believe there was an electronic distributor, but that's now been put back to points. So there's there's a number of things. I sit and I look at things and I get carried away because I want to totally get in and fix everything. But I need to I need to pace it and I need to prioritise it. So going forward, I'll hopefully cover quite a bit on these videos. But going forward, I am. Going to prioritise safety and security, so I need to get it safe to drive. You know, there's a few um, bits of welding need done underneath, and there's a few corroded and perished fuel lines. You know, I smell of fuel. So I've got um, I've got a book here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and uh, basically make a list. Do you think that book will be big, big enough? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to make a list of all the things, mm -hmm. prioritising what I need. The list, I could sit here and go on and on, but I'll cover it as I'm going. Um, but we're going to enjoy it. You can see above me the lovely 70s carpet in there. Yeah, the seats. Uh, I want to make it my own, make it my own spin. You've seen from the outside there's been a lot of work done. There's a lot of red oxide primer that needs painted. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to the journey. And um, and basically enjoy, and that's what it's about. For anyone watching my channel already, the minis will continue. I've still got my really, really strong passion for the minis. Um, I'll be introducing this, and I'll be sharing the work basically between the two. So, for any new subscribers, for any new viewers, please join this channel, subscribe, like, comment, get involved. You can also join the Facebook group. At, uh, Facebook dot com forward slash groups forward slash db mini diy and you can share your restorations on there and basically join an interaction with the, the guys and girls that are already on there at the end of the day we all like sharing and helping each other and that's what it's all about so yeah get involved this um is going to be a rolling pro project restoration um going forward i'll be looking at assessing the shell seeing what i need to work on and I'll try and cover, as I usually do with my videos, as much as I can going forward. So, um, yeah, let me hear your thoughts, let me hear your comments, get involved, and if you're um, experienced in camper vans or if you're just looking to buy, share your knowledge because, like I say, uh, when it comes to air-cooled engines and camper vans, I'm learning as I go, and that's half the fun. That's what I'm looking forward to. But um, there's always people that can add their knowledge. I'm not one for listening to criticism or criticising people or telling them they should be doing that, they should be doing that. I'm all about helping people and encouraging people. Because if you don't do things and you don't get your hands dirty, you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. So, yeah, that's not what I'm about, which most of my regular subscribers know anyway. So, yeah. That's my thoughts and opinions. What's, um, what are you wanting to do? What are you thinking with the camper van? I don't know. <laughs>
Good, good camera shy. There's loads of rust up there. There's loads of rust up there, right? There's loads of rust there and there and there. And yeah. I mean, enjoyment wise, what are you hoping to do when, when yeah. she's on the road and driving? Go camping. Camping? What did we do yesterday? Picnic. Picnic. <laughs> Put the seat flat. Um, yeah, there's, it's endless. <laughs> so it's endless. So I'm going to end that one there because it's kind of just an introduction video. Before I do, my cameraman here filmed a few shots of me first driving the van because I picked it up and drove it about 35 miles to get to where it is now. So um, have a look at these videos and um, see how much enjoyment you get from one of these things. And um, when they're finished, I'll end it there. So as always, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers! Actually, I've just pulled this out and it's the first time I'm driving it and it's... I think you can tell by my face. <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, yeah, there's a words escape me. I'm um, trying to keep an eye on what's round right about me and get used to it. Compared to driving the minis, it's something else. Um, so... <laughs> I've already got people looking and smiling and I'm just about to pull onto the motorway so um, I'm going to see what it's like with the fruit to the floor. I'm not expecting speed but um, I'm getting overtaken already. <laughs> Did I enjoy the drive home? I've got about <laughs> I've got um, about 40 minutes drive so I'm going to enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the drive and see if I can find third gear. I'll see you at the other end and maybe do some shots on the way. I've got my um, my son here taking the views and that and we'll get some on the way back. But yeah, thrilled and delighted to say the least. So I'm just about to cross the Queen's Ferry crossing. I've driven um, the camper for about 10 minutes now and it's sitting really, really well at 60 mile an hour. Um, the steering, which I knew <laughs> from my uh, reviews, is uh, takes a bit of time to get used to. But we're just coming up to here. You can see, the, you can feel the difference when you come to a hill. Foot on the floor, not drop below 50 though. And like I say, it's sitting really, really well at 60. I can't stop smiling. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm just this such a different drive to anything I've ever had, including the mini. And um, I've not had many gear changes. I'm dropping onto a slower road, a country road, so I'll see how it is on that bit. The sun's shining, look at the scenery. Spin round to the look.